Hello there! I'm going to talk to you guys today about Matt De La Pena's book, Mexican White Boy. Uh, this book is the first book that I've read by uh, De La Pena, and it is absolutely brilliant. Um, I picked it up, uh, noticed it had to do with um, sports and things like that, which I know a little bit about. I played a lot as a kid. Uh, so I thought, why not give it a shot? I don't really read sports books, so I'll read this one. Um, it revolves around baseball is a central part and it ties the two main characters together. We have two characters that come from very different cultures. We have one that's half black, half Mexican, and one that's half white, half Mexican. Um, the two of them, well, as you would assume, would be very different, and they are. But they have this similarity, this similar in-betweenness that kind of pulls them together. Um, the book is is great uh, for these these kids that Matt Le Pena is trying to write to are uh, reluctant readers, particularly boys, um, in middle or high school. And, I mean, the book is absolutely brilliant. Uh, the, um, there is, there's a lot of violence, uh, which boys love, right? Violence, there's talks about, they're talking about girls, they go to um, carnivals, they, they play baseball again and again and again and again. They're hustling people, they're betting money, they're getting in fights. I mean, it is just, there's a lot of action, but there's a lot of depth to it as well. Um, from a literary standpoint, a lot of that depth comes from the way that Matt De La Pena decides to write a good portion of the book using free indirect discourse. Um, for anyone that might not know, that is when a narrator, usually an omniscient narrator or an all-knowing uh, narrator, um, uses his omniscient power to kind of take on the thoughts and feelings that um, a character might have in a particular moment. Um, so we have our two characters, Uno and Danny, who are the ones that Matt De La Pena uses this free and direct discourse with. And in that, um, he will, through the narrator's voice, I mean, it's the narrator talking, but he's saying things that Danny is feeling. Um, in a way that, you know, expressing it how he would feel it. I mean, it is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's a, it's up there for sure in um, writing styles. I mean, it's a very difficult thing to do and Matteo Pena does it flawlessly. Um, but even if you're not a literary nerd like me, you might find this book very interesting. I mean, the story is great. There's a lot of uh, drama. There's a lot of um, things you don't see coming and I'll try not to spoil any of it for you. But there is, um, there's a lot of fun stuff that happens. Uh, so just a quick little overview of, you know, where the book, a very basic synopsis, I'll say that. Um, so we have, like I said before, we have Uno and Danny. Danny is our half white, half Mexican character, and Uno is our half black, half Mexican character. And these two find each other uh, first through baseball. They kind of uh, rub each other the wrong way at first. Um, and eventually, they find a way to be friends, and they work really hard at their skills. They go to a certain field and practice playing baseball every day. And um, for Uno, it's to uh, to make money to hustle kids out of um, their money. And uh, they do that by having Danny, who has this raw talent that's just absolutely crazy. He throws like crazy fast pitches, and Uno and Danny go around and bet. Uh, these kids who are high school players um, that Danny can strike them out without them putting a ball in play. And he does that most of the time, and it, it's, it's so much fun. Uh, and there's different reactions. Some kids get angry. Some kids are just shut down and like, wow, this kid's incredible. Um, but together, Danny and Uno uh, go around hustling people in National City. Um, Danny, his love of baseball and his, his passion for the sport – uh, kind of is rooted in his want to impress his father, uh, which is quite sad. His dad is not around. He um, feels like his, his dad left because of him, and he writes to him, and those letters are included in here, and they, they bring such a great perspective to the story. I mean, it's brilliant. I, mean, I cannot say enough um, how brilliant I think Matt De La Pena is as a writer. Um, but those letters... Uh, add to the story. He's writing them to his father, telling him all of his adventures with Uno and his, his cousins, which he's staying with in National City. Um, I'll try not to give too much away. Uh, Danny finds out these things about his life that he never knew. Um, it gets very, very emotional. Um, 
and some very, very difficult concepts to uh, kind of wrap your mind around. Um, but in middle and high school, you know, that kind of stuff is, I think, to a certain extent for certain people, it's, it's okay for them to read, especially the students. And I think that uh, they would really enjoy it. Um, this book, and it might be, there might be other books as well by Matt De La Pena, but this one I'm, I'm pretty sure was banned from a few schools. Uh, it's a banned book, and I, I haven't done too much research on that, but I think that it might be because of some of the harsh topics that De La Pena decides to talk about, but he does it in a real way, in a way that, you know, we have these, these kids these, day, this, these days that are encountering things that aren't, you know, all sunshine and rainbows. And we have to talk about it in books because this is life, you know, we're talking about real life here. And uh, it is absolutely brilliant. I am definitely going to go check out some more of uh, Matt De La Pena's books and read them. Um, so for anyone that is interested, pick up Matt De La Pena's Mexican White Boy as soon as you can. Thanks for watching. Bye.